in this video we are going to cover the reflection as we have already gone through some data types along with the assemblies that could be private maybe a local copy of a DLL file or shared which may be installed in a particular gag but if I want to get the structure or any detailed information about a particular assembly or a type we can go for the reflection as it is used to obtain type information at runtime. To use this reflection we should go for system.reflection namespace which will give you different classes such as constructor info, method info, parameter info, member info, property info for getting the different type of information of a particular type or an assembly. So let's see how we can implement the reflection on the practical basis. So let's start about reflection. In .NET framework, it provides us a predefined utility called ILDASM using which we can actually get the structure of any particular assembly. As here, in the previous video of assembly, we have created this manage user.dll if I will use that ILDASM that is intermediate language deassembler and as soon as I'll say enter you can see like this particular assembly like any other assembly has some manifest along with that manage user namespace inside which a user class and with a couple of methods like authenticate user returning a boolean and a couple of string parameters and hello user string return type and string parameters along with that we do have a default constructor and the version 10.0.0.1 so you can see like using this ILDASM we can get this structure this is what the purpose of reflection as well now if I want to do the same things programmatically what I can do I can first of all include the system.reflection namespace which will give us the assembly class like if I create the instance of this assembly assembly is equal to assembly dot load file and here I can pass this path which we have already taken right here all right which contains manage user dot dll now I'm not sure like how many classes are there inside this particular assembly so what I can do is I can simply get the type uh, I can use this type class all right and since I don't know how many classes are there I know that there are one class but again uh, just to make sure I am not missing anything I am taking an array of this type types is equal to assembly dot get type alright so assembly dot get types will return all the types from inside now what I can do is for each where type in types alright so this is what I'll do I'm just taking the type one by one from this collection alright now once I'll get that let me print the name of the class alright let's say class or maybe if there is any interface or anything you can print that as well type dot name alright so it will print the name of that particular class which I have created inside now after that I may get a number of methods properties inside so what I can do is let's say I want to get the method names so method info is the class for that alright I'm taking an array because again there may be a number of methods so methods in is equal to type dot get methods alright so it will give you the list of all the methods containing in a particular type all right, or a particular class again I can write a for each loop here where method in methods and now inside again I can start printing all right like method and then the name of that method all right let's say method dot name and now if you want to get the parameter list of all so what you can do again I can go for parameter info method dot get parameters alright so this is how you can start keep on doing like that alright so let's again take a for each loop where param is equal to parameters sorry where param in parameters 
and then again print a message parameter param dot name and parameter type apart from that you can also take it like whether it's a out parameter is uh, means uh, call by out of which type of parameter is that if whether it's an optional which we have covered in the methods all right so i'm just taking the parameter type along with that all right so let's execute this one and see how the output is looking like but before executing let's remove this enter i just uh, split that path into two lines so that you can see it properly all right that may cause the exception at the runtime and let's execute this so you see class name is user method hello user and in hello user there is a parameter called user of string type and again there is another method of authenticate user with a couple of parameters user of string type and password of string type all right so uh, this is what you can get it from here apart from that from the object type that is the main type base type you will be getting these predefined methods like to string equals uh, get hash code and get type all right so this is how you can simply start working with the uh, parameter info method info constructor info property info and everything will be as similar all right so this is how you can take the information of a particular type when the dll is available but what if the dll is not here or you want to pass a particular type name so in that particular requirement what i'll do is I can simply say type of and the class name let's say string all right so now I'm good enough to take all the values of this string and uh, since it is single thing all right it is not a collection so let me remove this array thing here all right and say it type and now I don't want this for each loop here all right i'm just getting rid of that and let's all right okay so i didn't make any ch much changes now i don't want all these things because i'm just directly taking the name of that class all right so if i will execute it again you will see all the methods of string class are now here along with all the details all right so if you know the type name you can simply use this type of operator and you will get this reference here and then very similarly you can keep on reading the data all right let's say if you want to get the details of the property let me comment this all right we don't have much properties here in the string so with that will be clear let's say property info again the array so properties is equal to type dot get properties and again using for each loop you will be able to get that all right let's say prop in properties property and then print the name as well all right so let's execute it now and you see in this string we have a couple of properties that is length and cares so this is how you can start working with reflection for getting the type information at runtime